Welcome back. In this video, we'll understand how exactly Django works. Well, Django follows MVT software design pattern. MVT means model, wave, and template. But what is design pattern? The design pattern is nothing but the way of defining the rules of developing software applications. So these design patterns have some set of rules uh, that we need to follow while developing any software applications. The Django actually follows MVT design pattern so uh, let me show you how this actually work okay mvt model view and template this model is responsible for each and every database operations if you want to do anything related to the database then you must contact this model all right now we have a template so the template is basically a user facing front end layout uh, this can be html or bootstrap all right this template is the only thing that can be seen by the users because this is the front end layout, right? So whatever the data we want to show to the user, then uh, we just provide that data to the template so that the user can see it. Okay. But who will provide the data? Uh, this is where the view comes in. View acts as the bridge between the template and the model. View is actually a function where we write the logic. All right, one thing to remember is that we cannot directly access to the database. For that, what we need, we need the models, right? Model can only talk to database, okay? We cannot access the database, okay? So we is basically a bridge which tells the model that uh, I need something from the database. Please give me, okay? Now the model will go to the database, uh, bring that data and give that back to the view. We will then pass that data to the template where the user can see it. Okay, so let's take a simple example. The very first thing is that the user comes to the browser and access our Django website. Okay, so he access our website because he wants to see something or he wants to know something, right? In this example, let's assume that this particular user wants to see his first name and last name. Okay. Of course, these user data are stored in the database. All right. So now what he'll do is he will access our Django application using something called URLs. All right. In Django, we define all the URL patterns that are needed in our application inside a separate file called URLs.py using the inbuilt function called path. Okay. So as you can see here, uh, this is how the pattern looks like. Path. Uh, profile comma view start profiles what we're doing here is that inside the path function we are passing the endpoint and we are we are also passing the function name okay so this uh, view start profile means inside the views module we have the profile function okay so this is the function and this is the file name or the module okay so this is how the path looks like so when any request comes in, it will first go to the project level uh, urls.py where we have the URL patterns listed. Okay, so it will then check if the requested URL exists or not. Let's say for the first name and last name, the URL pattern requested by the user is profile. Okay, so now the request comes to urls.py and looks for the pattern profile. So here the first one is about, right? Uh, now it will ignore it because we are not looking for the about we are looking for the profile okay then it comes to the next line and checks another url pattern where it is profile okay so it is matched right so if the requested url exists in our case profile exists right the request will now go to the corresponding view where we have the function for that particular url pattern in our case the corresponding function is this profile okay so if this is the url pattern the user is looking for then the corresponding function will be views dot profile okay so the profile will be the function name so this function will trigger all right this function contains the logic for what to do with the request so in this case our logic says go and get the first name and last name from the database then it will go to the model of course view itself cannot contact to the database directly right so we has to contact model to do anything related to the database okay so model is the only one who does all the database related operations okay so you should keep that in mind all right if the requested data is available in the database then the model will give that data back to the view so now we have the first name and last name in the view 
we want to show that to the user right so that's where the template comes in from the view we pass the data to the template uh, which is the front end layout uh, that the user can see right so from the template he will see the first name and last name that he requested okay so this is actually the workflow of django when the user requests for some data